In this module, I'd like to talk about our Turbo Drop dual fan spray nozzle, which we introduced in 2011. And uh, you may be aware of it because it's become a very popular nozzle in a very short time uh, for the range of applications, but you may not be aware of the history behind the nozzle. Uh, in 2005, when the Asian soybean rust scare hit, uh, the experts, so the researchers, uh, the professionals were all suggesting that we needed to have a twin fan nozzle that would generate a 200 to 300 micron droplet size to spray fungicides for Asian soybean rust, which they were uh, predicting would come up from South and Central America uh, in, the, in the year 2005. So we designed a turbo drop twin fan that year to achieve the, the desired results with the fungicides. And it, based on the same turbo drop Venturi design, we incorporated a twin fan cap with uh, two different tips, one spraying 30 degree forward, one spraying 30 degree back. Um, so that we could get into the, the soybean canopy from two different angles and at 60 to 120 PSI this, this nozzle design would generate that 200 to 300 micron uh, droplet size range for the fungicides. One thing you'll notice about the turbo drop twin fan is it's utilizing two different size and color nozzles and uh, they're actually two different angles as well so in a, instead of just splitting the float evenly uh, half and half we decided to go with a little bit smaller flow to the front, a little bit larger or higher flow to the back, so that as you travel through the crop, you can get a better chance at hitting the back side, because travel speed, your spray is going to go with you in the, in the forward direction, um, so in the front side maybe is an easier side to hit, and by putting a, a little bit larger flow to the back in a little bit narrower or focused angle, uh, we get a better chance at hitting the back side. Also, it helps expand that range of droplet sizes that, to get that full 200 to 300 micro, micron droplet size range to get full coverage with these fungicides. The, the Asian soybean rust didn't really hit, but, uh, but aphids did hit in the Midwest, and we got calls from a lot of farmers who had bought the TurboDrop Twin Fan that wanted to try that nozzle for aphids, and we suggested they go right ahead. And they, they saw very good results in controlling aphids with the, uh, the Twin Fan. And then down south in the cotton and peanuts and other crops down south where they spray a wide range of insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, uh, farmers got a lot of use out of the turbo drop twin fan in, in 2005, 2006, 2007 for those applications. And it, it started to take off and improve itself uh, to be a very uh, effective nozzle for those types of applications. And it just goes, uh, it just makes common sense that if you can travel through the crop and spray it from two different angles, spray it twice instead of once in a, in a single pass, that you're going to get uh, you know, more effective performance out of the nozzle. So when it came time to design the, the, the TurboDrop dual fan, uh, we, we modified the design slightly, again to help compensate for faster travel speeds. Uh, we changed the angle, so it's an asymmetric pattern. Rather than being 30 degree forward and 30 degree back, it's 10 degree forward and 50 degree back. So again, with these self-propelled sprayers going 14, 18, 20 miles an hour, it really helps to have a flatter angle in the back to get the backside coverage but because the forward spray, which in this case is almost spraying straight down, is traveling with the sprayer, so it's going to hit the front side of the target. Uh, the backward spray, which is a 50 degree uh, flat fan angled back, is, uh, is going to do a better job of getting backside coverage. And also, it's got that narrower angle, so it's an 80 versus 110 degree, so it focuses the spray. In theory, it's got further to go to get to the target, so by narrowing the angle, that also helps focus the spray makes a little bit larger droplet. So we introduced this nozzle in 2011 and shortly after we put them in the field we started playing around with them and found that if we alternated these nozzles on the spray boom, in other words every 15 inches or 20 inches, whatever the spacing was, we turned it around 180 degrees. So the first nozzle would be spraying 10 degree forward, 50 degree back, the next nozzle 50 degree forward, 10 degree back, and so on down the length of the boom. By alternating those along the boom, in effect we're getting four distinct angles going down to the target. Uh, if, it's a, if you're spraying into a canopy, you've got four angles of entry into the canopy. If you're spraying early season burn down herbicides, you've got four shots to hit that target weed. You can see how effective that would be. The other thing, the other uh, uh, benefits we get out of that alternating setup is, uh, again, we have the, the, the two different tip sizes. So we're making larger droplets on the outside and we're making smaller droplets on the inside. Because when you alternate it, the smaller droplet is always focused more straight down and the bigger droplets and the bigger tips are, are facing on the outside. So as those large droplets move away from the spray pattern, uh, it creates kind of a, a canopy of larger droplets and keeps the smaller droplets uh, focused underneath that canopy. And, it, and even as uh, those droplets move away, it creates a low pressure area under the spray pattern 
and creates a vortex effect which helps pull those small droplets down into the canopy. So uh, it's really a unique combination of coverage, penetration, and drift control just by alternating this asymmetric dual fan nozzle and running it at, uh, at, at appropriate pressures. Um, again, like the turbo drop, it's got that range from 30 to 120 psi. So guys are running it at low pressure for things like Roundup, Dicamba, things that need better, uh, better drift control and, and, a, and a coarser droplet. And then when they get to spraying uh, contact herbicides or fungicides or insecticides, that's when they're bringing the pressure up 60 to 120 psi where they want a little more flow, a little smaller droplet, more of a medium droplet, and the nozzle has that, that range to do uh, both of those types of applications. As far as selling tools for the Turbo Drop Dual Fan, uh, a couple things come to mind. One is the video that we have on the website, which we usually run in a loop at the trade shows, and that video is uh, of a number of different sprayers running the Dual Fan in the alternating position, and you can really see the coverage that you would get. The first uh, clip is a video uh, with a front mounted boom where you can see three or four patterns. It's actually it's alternating so there are four patterns going down to dark dirt so you can see uh, it would be very hard to miss a weed in that sort of situation. So I encourage your farmers to, uh, to look at that, your customers to look at that video because it really tells the story of the dual fan and how it gets good coverage and in that video there was actually quite a bit of wind and we still had very very little off target. You really can't see anything coming out of the, out of the spray. Another tool is uh, some, some spray card charts that we did when we first developed uh, the dual fan. In fact, before we started alternating it, we put it on the back of a self-propelled sprayer and we put them all the same way, 10 degree forward, 50 degree back, and we took the water sensitive paper and rather than just laying those flat on the ground, we mounted two of them back to back vertically so we could see what kind of coverage we got on the front side of the target and what kind of coverage we got on the back side of the target. And so if you look at the results in comparison with the AIT jet, uh, it almost looks like we're spraying twice as much liquid with the TurboDrop dual fan because the front side coverage and the back side coverage uh, are, are almost uh, the same with the dual, dual fan and the front side coverage and the back side coverage with the AI are much much less and then the back side coverage is, is, uh, is not a whole lot. Uh, and, and part of the reason is that in, in a vertical target you're getting a glancing blow if it's a, if it's a vertical spray straight down whereas with the, the, the 10 degree and the 50 degree we're hitting this, the, the target more squarely and allowing those air filled droplets to spread out on the leaf surface. So you can even see that in the spray cards as well. It's, it's, uh, you can see the big droplets, how they spread out, whereas on the, uh, the AI you can see how those streaked off the card or made a line because of the, uh, the targeting angle of that spray droplet. So that's a very useful tool for showing the difference between a single fan and a dual fan air injected nozzle and the different, different types of coverage you would get on a vertical target or in a complex canopy. So that and the, uh, and the online video are very useful for promoting the dual fan. And again, it's just a matter of getting these guys to try the dual fan, because once they start using it, they're going to use it for a lot of different things, and they're, they're going to be very happy. One of the applications where the TurboDrop dual fan has proven to be tremendously successful is in spraying glyphosate-resistant weeds like Palmer amaranth, pigweed, uh, water hemp, kochia, uh, weeds that require excellent coverage to get good control. Uh, so if we can take the dual fan, alternate it on the boom, and spray those weeds from four different angles, keeping the small droplets in the middle, covering it from, from multiple angles, we get much better control. And we saw that actually even initially with the TurboDrop Twin Fan in Georgia spraying uh, Palmer pigweed down there compared to standard flat fans or even air injected uh, single fans. Um, we were getting much better, better kill of the Palmer Amaranth. Sometimes if you spray, end up spraying one side, the Palmer would fall over and in the next couple days it would, it would kind of come back to life. But with the dual fan, we're getting that multiple angle coverage and, and getting uh, much better effectiveness out of the weed, out of the weed uh, control chemicals. It's been so effective that uh, Bayer Crop Science has endorsed this nozzle for spraying Liberty uh, on pigweed and in many other applications. In fact, the, the nozzle is on the label for Liberty. Uh, Liberty is one of these contact herbicides, they want a medium droplet. So if you take the TurboDrop dual fan and run at the appropriate pressure, typically 60 plus PSI, you generate that medium droplet, which is excellent for contact herbicide coverage. Uh, in fact, the, the TurboDrop dual fan is one of three nozzles endorsed by Bayer for Liberty herbicide. The other two happen to be the, the, the TurboDrop XL and the Airmix. All of these nozzles have proven to be very effective with Liberty herbicide. But uh, we're particularly excited about the dual fan, especially in the, in the Roundup resistant weeds, because uh, in Liberty Link crops, where we're going to spray Liberty over the top, 
and Roundup's not working anymore, we really have to get good, good full coverage, and the dual fan has really proven uh, to take off in those applications over the last four years. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, you know, a lot of people have started off with the TurboDrop, used the TurboDrop for years, and in recent years have tried the dual fan. Generally speaking, it's, um, you know, I would say 99.9% .9 of them are telling us that they love the, the coverage of the dual fan. It gives them the, the, some drift control, and it gives them, you know, that dual coverage, and so it's a multi-purpose nozzle. One thing you've got to be careful of is if you look at these two nozzles side by side, the dual fan does make a slightly smaller droplet spectrum. You know, the single fan of the turbo drop focused straight down, you know, it tends to be a slightly larger droplet. And if you look at the droplet size categories in the catalog, you'll see that the single fan turbo drop XL is a slightly coarser droplet than the dual fan. Now, that, that's part of the, the, the more effective coverage. Uh, you know, part of it is, is being able to spray from multiple angles, but also breaking the droplet size down and getting medium droplets uh, helps the coverage. And one thing to keep in mind, though, is if, if let's say you want to get back to a little bit bigger droplet, with the, uh, the X, like the XL Turbo Drop, but you want the dual fan design, this modular design is very versatile, so we can change the, the droplet size without changing the orientation of the pattern, without changing the flow rate. Remember, it's a two to one ratio, just like with the, uh, the Turbo Drop XL, an 04 Venturi or 04 injector has a number eight pattern tip. So in the dual fan, the 04 Venturi has a three and a five tip, which adds up to eight. And we could use a four and a four, but we get some benefits of it, having those two different uh, uh, tip sizes as we talked about earlier. But you can use slightly larger tips as well. So instead of a 3 and a 5, let's say you wanted to bump the droplet size up a little bit. You could change the 3 tip out for a number 4 tip. Again, it's not going to change the flow rate. The flow rate is always controlled by the, the pre orifice in the Venturi. So if I put a, a 4 instead of a number 3 tip here, it's going to take some of the smaller droplets out of the pattern. It's, we can still alternate it, get the four, uh, 4 sprays and 1 pass type of coverage but it'll bring the droplet size maybe back more similar to the XL by bumping that tip size up a little bit. In the next module, we're going to talk about a, a new series of nozzles, or a couple new series of nozzles we call the D series. Um, in both the, the single fan and the dual fan turbo drop, we've developed a D series nozzle to help make bigger droplets for some of the new formulations that are going to be coming out soon. So, the dual fan, again, has proven to be maybe one of our most versatile nozzles on the market because of the, the combination of drift control coverage and penetration. Four years in the field have, have, have proven that it can be used in just about any application. But uh, there's always room for another nozzle, apparently. But, uh, so we'll talk about, in our next module, we'll talk about the, the D-series, those are the, the TDXLD and the TurboDrop Dual Fan D.